Hello everyone, welcome to another gameplay uh, video. Today we're going to be testing out Rakdos Knights. We just got done with some mono red gameplay. Uh, very, very fun. The last time we actually did go 3-0, the first time was like 1-2, so not great overall, but not bad. Um, I thought I'd try out a Rakdos version uh, of an aggressive deck just to see. I've, I've seen a lot of these running around and I do think they'd be pretty fun. Uh, some cards I'm not so excited about in this deck, but some of them I really am. So. Uh, running through really quick at the one drop slot, uh, Knight of the Ebon Legion as a four of as well as Fervent Champion, both very, very powerful one drops. Uh, Fervent Champion obviously with First Strike and Haste being able to swing in immediately and pump up other knights later in the game, absolutely awesome. Uh, it's also a great target for anything, essentially. Uh, Knight of the Ebon Legion, uh, obviously a very powerful card if left unchecked. Uh, does take a little bit more time to build up, but gives you some options as a mana sink uh, also in the three to four turn slot as well as later in the game. So uh, both very powerful one drops. We also have a one of Shadow Sphere. Kind of testing this out. Uh, don't know if this is a great uh, addition or not, but I do think that lifelink and that trample can help you kind of finish off the game uh, or solidify the game for sure. Uh, Black Lance Paragon, one of the cards I'm really not that stoked about. Uh, I don't really like this card. I do think it has its uses. The fact that it has flash, awesome. Uh, and it does kind of work well with things like Bone Crusher Giant, where uh, you don't know if they're going to be playing a creature or not. If they do, you can Bone Crusher it uh, early in the game. If not, just flash in the Paragon, and then you have three damage waiting on the back end. So, uh, pretty powerful card for sure. Uh, but overall, just not super exciting. I think most of the time you're just kind of trading it off. Uh, Storm, Cru Storm Fist Crusader, uh, great draw engine, also very difficult to block, uh, so really, really powerful card. We've seen this in a number of decks. It's it's just a tried and true, very, very strong uh, draw engine. Uh, at the three drop slot, so first of all, Drillbit, <clears throat> uh, interesting card for sure in this deck, uh, but obviously you're looking to attack most of the time, so a lot of times this is going to cost only one. Uh, being able to remove a key card from the, the opponent's hand always helpful so this is just a nice little include there for some tech uh bone crusher giant we kind of already talked about shock something if you need it to but also just a really strong three drop at four three uh and then rotting regisaur a crazy good three drop uh obviously you do discard cards every turn but we're looking to play most of our spells very very early as you can see from our curve so it kind of is okay oops uh, and then spawn of mayhem uh at the four drop slot sorry guys i accidentally there we go. Uh, Spawn of Mayhem at four drop slot uh, provides a flyer, a trampler, and some additional kind of life loss just by being there. Uh, so this is kind of a must answer. Uh, you can get it out for three, of course, with the spectacle cost uh, if you have attacked, which again, we're looking to do. Uh, and then Ember Cleave, of course, as a way to, uh, to really, really end the game. So obviously this is good in mono red. This is great here as well. Uh, just a really powerful card. Um, not too much exciting stuff in the way of lands. We do have two Castle Lockthwains just as some card draw. Not running any uh, temples or anything like that solely because we don't want tap lands. Uh, we, we really need to be as aggressive as possible. Uh, so we're going to do our normal thing. We're going to run this through three games. I've not played with this deck at all yet. Uh, so this will be an absolute first for me. So we're going to be learning together. Uh, but very excited about this deck. I think it can be very good. I don't know if it's better than just mono red though uh, And that's kind of the question. I'm looking to answer here. Oh Can we keep this? Um, we do have a one into two and three uh, Assuming we draw a land We do have three unplayables in our hand right now though, which is bad However, most of our deck is obviously lands. So if we draw any black source, we're in amazing shape this is very risky and probably incorrect, but I'm going to try and keep it solely because we have the one into two. Um, depending on what we're against, that's obviously very, very good. <clears throat> uh, also, just want to mention to you guys, uh, as always, we have our uh, Patreon rewards for this month uh, available down below. You can kind of see as they're scrolling through. Uh, we also have a mystery proxy uh, that goes out every month as well, so keep your eye out for that. Um, we actually, uh, I guess I can go ahead and say last month, um, we gave away, as the mystery proxy, it was Underground Sea, uh, which is something that we, it was a proxy that we had made up quite a while ago, 
uh, but not something that we had released in the actual tier structure yet because it was a completely different kind of proxy. Uh, but uh, obviously people really, really liked it. So we thought, well, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So um, what do we do here? Do we just want maximum damage? I think either way we attack in obviously first. We'll see what they do. I think we want to vary our casting costs thanks to Blast Zone. So I'm going to Bone Crusher here. It's also the card they know about. Um, they may have some kind of counter here. That's fine. Um, the part of the reason I didn't want to do like Knight of the Ebon Legion here is because if I do that, one, it's not very mana efficient, but two, obviously, uh, they can just Blast Zone away most of our stuff. Uh, Stormfist Crusader, a more powerful option, but definitely kind of in that same boat. I do think here we run the Stormfist Crusader, though. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this here. Uh, and we'll play land. At some point, we will sandbag lands in a deck like this, just because we don't want them to know what we've got. So, uh, looks like they're stuck on land, though, which is great for us. Oh, perfect. So, let's do this. They've got a counter. This is a little bit of a bait. Uh, okay, sure. Definitely gets them out of the Ember Cleave route. Or does it? Yeah, it does. Ah, okay. We'll go ahead and play the Crusader again. And we'll see what they can do. They're doing a good job of slowing us down at the very least. Uh, them missing that land drop last turn, don't know how much that affected them. Very good card on their side, for sure. Uh, but here we do get the option to just Ember Cleave, uh, which is pretty awesome. Still no second black land, uh, but that's okay. Go ahead and attack in here. We're going to pop up these. Don't super care if one of those dies, so I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, there we go. Awesome. So game one, very, very quickly, uh, we get to pull that one out. Very, very awesome. Um, I like the fact that you, despite them slowing us down, we were still able to kind of close out the game. That Stormfist Crusader drawing us extra cards is great. So. Uh, we'll run it back for a couple games and see uh, see what we can do. Um, really, really enjoy doing gameplay, by the way, guys. <clears throat> I talked, or we talked actually in the last uh, podcast episode, and I think I mentioned it in one of our gameplay videos, um, that we're kind of pushing away from the Let's Open slash Crack-A-Pack series. Uh, as fun as that series is, uh, unfortunately, it's just not um, financially viable. It's, I mean, it is, but... It's a very expensive series to run because those packs were genuinely picked at random. So uh, for anybody that doesn't know, essentially what we would do is, uh, what do we want to do here? I kind of think we just want a Knight of the Ebon Legion. That might be wrong. It might be, I mean, it's definitely more efficient to do the Crusader. Uh, but anyway, so we uh, we would literally like go through scryfall.com uh, is always our platform. And we would just... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to pump it here. Um, I want to get it out of Bone Crusher Giant range. Uh, they can double up on it, but that's saving us a lot of damage. Um, so we literally go to scryfall.com, uh, and all we do is hit random card. Uh, and whatever comes up, whatever pack it's from, assuming it's somewhat within our price range, we would buy it. Uh, and then we would use that as we would do that kind of once a month and get like 12 packs or something to, to cover us for that month. And that was really, really fun. Uh, but that's a lot, a lot of, uh, of actual, um, money and time that was being put into that. And as fun as it all was, I just don't think it was lucrative enough that we could have kept it up. Um, here, I think we're going to storm fist and drill bit. <clears throat> uh, yeah. 
because I kind of want to see what they're working with here. Sure. So we take that. Good, good. I kind of don't want them to draw cards now, though, is my problem. Uh, I think we still do it. Um, with them only having lands in hand, that's an interesting thing, but um, there's not much we can do about it. I think we just kind of have to. Play land for turn. We can actually Ember. No, we can't Ember Cleave here. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it would have been awesome if we could. Yep. This is going to be a very hard fought battle, unfortunately. Um, just the way that this deck runs. I think at this point, we kind of just need to spit out as many things as we can. And see what they got. Uh, with the reason I'm saying we do that, by the way, is for Ember Cleave. Okay. I don't know why they gave up there, actually. That seemed very preemptive, but okay. Uh, I guess we won it. <laughs> um, didn't expect that. Uh, I guess that's the danger of fighting 1v1, uh, but uh, cool. So we're 2-0 and right now. Let's see if we can get a 3-0 and record uh, with this Rakdos aggro deck, uh, or Rakdos Knights deck, rather. Uh, very, very fun deck, though, so far. I like it. V plays exactly like Mono Red, uh, essentially. Um, there's a little bit more tech to it, which I like, and some more card draw, obviously, uh, but still very, very sweet. I don't actually think we can keep this. Uh, we can't play either of these. This is our only two drop, and then of course Ember Cleave is a much later play uh, with a hand like this. This is much, much better. Uh, and I do think here we actually put back the Ember Cleave. Um, so we have a one into two into three, which is awesome. Oh, and we get a second Ember Cleave anyway. Uh, perfect. This is one of those situations, though, where the Rotting Regisaur is going to be a bit of a tricky play. Like, when exactly to time it might be a bit tricky. Uh, we'll certainly see what we draw, though, of course. Uh, it'd be great not to have to discard the Ember Cleave, is the, the worry. Huh. So the question becomes, do we Drill Bit here, or do we Stormfist Crusader? I kind of think we Drill Bit. Um, maybe that's just my not great aggro playing coming out, but I think we take Teferi. <clears throat> A handful of lands and an Uro. All great cards, uh, but... Okay. Swing in. Play Castle Lockthwain, and we'll actually go ahead and run run out the Regisaur here. Um, since the likelihood of them having an answer in hand is a little bit less due to the drill bit look, um, I think now's the time. They have drawn three cards, obviously, since then, so a little bit of worry there, but uh, I think we just run it out and make them, make them have an answer. Okay. Certainly good. So what do we discard here? I kinda, it's either the... St we we kind of need the land here uh, solely so we can get to the Ember Cleave, so I think I'm just going to do this. We'll play this, pay two. Hmm. I hate swinging at Nyssa. I absolutely hate swinging at Nyssa. Go ahead and do this. 
this here. And we'll in turn. Certainly a commanding presence, but um, they obviously have ways to deal with it, so we'll see what we can do here. Uh, also, the reason, part of the reason I was willing to discard the castle uh, was, or excuse me, the Stormfrist Crusader was because we had the castle. Uh, we're able to draw cards, obviously, off of that, so um, here they're going to bounce the Regisaur. And I think that's going to be a very, this is a big turning point in the game, in my opinion, because I do think we had a fairly commanding presence at that point. Now, though, obviously not so much. Um... Let's go ahead and do this. They're going to trade off. That's fine. I guess it was a miss. I, it, this gives trample, does it not? Yeah. Should have definitely Amber Cleave that. Um, I think here, actually, we just play the land then. No use in sandbagging when we're going to have to discard anyway. Still learning the deck, by the way. Sorry, uh, that was a misclick on the Ember Cleave. I could have killed the Nissa, uh, so definitely my mistake. That would have made a much better game plan, and that may cost us the game, honestly, considering how well they are now set up. Uh, we'll certainly see, but no discard draw. Okay. We're going to put this. Oh, crap. Man, I am misplaying like crazy. Um, so absolutely misplayed there. We're going to do this. Man, should have equipped. I, I'm rushing through. Sorry, guys. Definitely a misplay on my end. Uh, yeah. Uh, should have definitely equipped first and then swung in. Just wasn't thinking. Um, for some reason I was thinking instant speed, but obviously Black Lance is what I was thinking of there, so 100% just a misclick. Man, I have royally screwed up this game. They obviously, uh, solely because of this, I couldn't actually play the Paragon. Uh, not good, not good, but that's okay. Wow, yeah, they are absolutely running this game now. Don't want to draw them more cards, um, but unfortunately, I think uh, due to my misclicks and my misplays, I think we're going to lose this one. That's okay. Screwing up happens. It's fine. We won the first two games, so I'm actually pretty happy with this deck. I think given me not misplaying, we would have obviously not had a Nissa to deal with. Uh, potentially not had a Teferi to deal with. It could have very much varied on uh, how that those turns played out a little bit more. But regardless, I think we would have been in a much better position. So 100% my fault on that one. Uh, and I do think we're going to... We're going to see a win on the opponent's side. Oh my goodness, absolutely. Yep. Oops. Let's block the blue source. Yep, down to one. Very, very little we can do here. Now I think we literally just can't win. 
even if we drew it. So the the out last, if they had not played this, was to draw another creature that we could play. But yeah, that's game. Uh, definitely 100% misplaying on my side. So my bad on that one, guys. But we will give another shot to this deck uh, very, very soon. So please stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this despite all of my misplays. Uh, if you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.